Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. This is our second video um, and we'll do a little more on our emu. We'll work on his beak and uh, what we need to do is, is put in some sh burn amber. So I'm going to use the angle brush and I will load the angle brush out with burn amber. Just take some of it off on your paper towel. Like so. I'm going to just pull in a little bit of shadow just here. But even though we're using, you know, the black background, we still need to put a little bit in of the burnt amber. Load up again, flatten it off. And we'll just bring a little bit of shadow here. Load up again, flatten it off. And let's bring this in a little more, just here. Just a little here. Soften that a little bit brighter. Okay, wash the burn tamper off the brush. I'm going to go back into the mustard seed and I'll pick up a little white, blend it on your palette, take it off. Just going to pick a little highlight here. I'm just here. And I'll give them a little highlight down here. There we are. Wash your brush again. And we'll go back to the eye. We'll just give the eye another coat of the, the Georgia clay. Just round it off, tidy it up if need be. Okay. There we are. Brush, brush. And I'm going to use the angle brush again now. And I'm going to pick up the, with the point of the brush, pick up the Georgia clay. And then I'm going to go into the mustard just a little, blend it. Could even pick up a little bit of white here, just a little. And blend it all in together. Turn your emu around. And just on the bottom half of this eye, just give them a little bit of highlight. Just a little. Pick up a little bit more yellow, just yellow. I've still got the other colour on the brush. And just touch it, just to make it a wee bit lighter. Just a little, like so. I could even pick up a little bit of white, I think, too. On this, on the same brush, don't wash your brush. Let's have a look at this. A little bit of, yep, yeah, that's it. Just a little, just on the point. You're only laying the point down. That's it. Okay. Wash your brush. Pick up a little white on the point again. I've washed the brush this time though. And we're just going to use the point of the brush and just run a little little mark there, just there. Pick up a little bit of white on the point again. Again. There we are. 
and then just a little mark there. You could even, if you wanted to, you could come back here and make that abstraction later. Yeah. Okay. Now with the angle brush again, we're going to go into the button timbre and we'll pick up a little white this time, okay? Just blend it. Turn your brush piece around and then we'll just, with a chisel of the brush, we're just going to touch that. Now if you feel more comfortable with other brushes, as I said before, just use them. I've, um, I don't mind what brushes you use. Okay. And we'll just highlight his beak a little. Just skimming across the top, okay? Don't put any pressure on it. They've got a really strong beak, these birds. There we are. Okay. No. Finish the eye off, I think. We need to just shadow in here just to give them a little bit of a lid. So what I'm going to do is to wash the brush, touch it on the paper towel, pick up a little black, blend it on your palette. It's messy, isn't it? I think I always get in a mess. Blend it on your palette. Remember what I told you in one of the other videos, if you feel you've got too much on, then just run your finger along there, just the bottom part. Now let's see, see if we've got too much on. I might be going to some water. Pick up a little bit more black on the point, blend it. Run my finger up. And just touch it. There we are, and a little bit of shadow here. Just make sure the uh, the Georgia clay is, is reasonably dry before you do that. Okay. Now, so we, we'll just put a couple of marks in here. I'm picking up by the time, and I'm just going to touch just so it's not as bright in spots. Wouldn't be a, a, a just a little. And then you can do that on the beak. That's that. Wash the brush. Now we'll go and start on his head. I'm going to use the angle brush and I'm using the, the chisel of the angle brush. I'm loading with the burnt amber and with the point of the brush I'm picking up the fawn or blended and I'm sitting up on the chisel using my little pinky to balance. I'm going to leave spaces to and a little bit loose don't have straight lines, just flick to one side, the other side. You just move your piece around to make it more whatever you feel comfortable down. I'll turn it around now. Got a little burnt timber, more fawn. Sit up on the chisel and just pull it in. Use your little pinky again, all the way, while you're doing these strokes. Burn timbre, fawn, point, blend. I'll do just finish off this little top area just to show you. Okay. 
move it around. Contemper fawn. You can pick up a little bit of white on the point as well and blend it. You see that? Yeah. And then just fill it in. I hope everyone's keeping well and staying safe. I'm loading up again with the uh, burnt timber, the fawn and the white, just a little. Not much white yet. If you enjoy my videos, um, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and um, press up the like button. And timbre again, a little of the phone. Okay, I'll just do this little. I'll go back into the burn timber again. I'm going to pick up the phone on the point. I'm going to blend it if I can find a spot to blend. And then I'm going to pick up the yellow, just a little of the yellow, okay? And I'll blend that. I won't put it all over. I'm just going to, in, in some little areas, just as a, a highlight, okay? do a couple of these strokes slower for you so you can see. So I'm loading up with the burnt amber, the fawn and a little of the yellow, the mustard. I'm going to blend it all out. Make sure you haven't got too much on. And then, um, can you see that? And then I'm just going to do it slowly. See? You may miss a couple of times, but you want it reasonably fine. Let's have a look how it looks. Yeah. And we'll come around here. Hold up again. There we are, we're going to do that all over under the chin. And then you can come back in little. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that burnt amber that I've got on the brush. I need to light that up a little bit here. Just keep it fine. And leave some of the black coming through, don't cover all that black up. We need that to give it the depth. I'll pick a little bit more white up with the 
the button tambour still on the brush. Still a little bit more to do, but we'll get there. Okay, button timbre again. I'll continue under the chin. I'm just going to pick up the button timbre and the font. Okay, and we'll uh, do some little fine, fine strokes down here. His little beard. Now, if you feel more comfortable, you use your fine liner. But if you've got a good angle brush, um, works well using the chisel. Van Tamper, some fawn. Just going to do a heap of fine lines. Still got a little bit more to do here, but we'll come back after and do that. Button tamper on. Now we've got a couple of layer, three layers to put on this um, on his uh, hair. Just come on up. Always have the burnt amber on your brush. Amber, the uh, fawn, and I'll pick a little white up this time as well. Blend it all out, and then we'll come back here. I think I should have got a bigger palette. This is better. Just leave a little space right here. He's got a, a shadow right there. If your brush gets gluggy, wash it out and dry it. Mine's just getting a wee bit gluggy then. Load up with your burnt amber again you know, and your, um, your fawn. And we'll bring in a little bit more. Okay, that's all I'll do in this video. I need to get a bigger palette or get a cleaner one anyway. And um, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Bye.